Oh, okay. Hello, uh, YouTube. Turtle Ags here, bringing you another AFK Journey video. I was about to attack my very first human that I've met in Supreme Arena, but I figured we would capture this moment. A lot of people ask me, hey, Turtle, what teams do you recommend that I run uh, for the three different maps in Supreme Arena? Uh, which is a new feature that was released with this new Song of Strife update, which for Server 25 was released two days ago. And I would have to say that uh, probably the best answer is probably work with what you've got. Most of you, almost all of you, should have two built teams at the moment. Most people will have a fully built Aeron team consisting of magic damage dealers that take advantage of Aeron's uh, magic defense shred as you can see from this second team that i have here and then a lot of you will also have a full mauler team consisting of brutus at the front with entendre to shield him and then coco to stabilize uh, smoky as an offensive healer and Odie as a uh, damage dealer. And uh, and then finally, you know, in terms of other teams, I've seen a whole bunch of different kinds. Uh, for me personally, I'm running the Zoo Comp, which consists of Thorin, Damien, Cassidy to bless Floribel, because uh, as one of my viewers uh, mentioned earlier on the live stream today, Cassidy's blessing not only blesses Floribel, but also all of Floribel's summons, which makes for a lot of damage output. Uh, and then finally, to wrap things up, to round things out, you have Burial to cause a lot of distractions. Jetfun, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you. Why is it called the Zoo Comp? It's called the Zoo Comp because you're summoning, you're summoning a bunch, you're summoning three different minions: a marksman, a rogue, and a marksman rogue and a warrior with Floribel, and your burial summons a whole bunch of shadows. So it looks like a zoo. Yeah, and then uh, Floribel, you know, the the way that this zoo comp works is that Floribel, she has at Supreme Plus the capability of applying shields to all of your summons, which include Damien, right? Because Damien's not actually on the battlefield. He actually summons a chariot so the chariot gets the shield all three of Floribel's summons get a shield and all five of burial's shadows get a shield so um makes for a very uh, nice team comp so this is my team comp right but i do understand that this team comp is not realistic for most people uh, because uh, as you can see here i have both an invested Scarleta on the Aeron team, as well as an invested Burial on uh, the Zoo team. Oh yeah, and as chat is making, is mentioning, uh, you know, Shakir is going to run up and also is going to jump around. So, uh, you know, with this new season, Song of Strife, every single character has a brand new skill. Oops, uh, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, so if we look all the way to the right, so normally the rightmost is the uh, Supreme Plus skill, right? But we also have a Season skill. For instance, Thorin's Season skill is increases the damage dealt to a target by 11% for 3 seconds after dealing damage to the target with normal attacks. This effect cannot stack. And certain characters got really incredible Season skills. For instance, Scarleta. If I was to look here, Scarleta Season Skill increases the haste by 8 for all deployed, deployed allies if they are alive 10 seconds into the battle until the battle ends. And then increases the damage dealt by all deployed allies by 8% if they're alive for 40 seconds into the battle. So uh, these Season Skills do make certain characters like uh, Shakir, like Odie, way better than before. Uh, and so it's really nice. We'll see how it shakes up the meta. Uh, currently, I think the meta cooking probably won't really take place until today because, like I just mentioned, uh, this is the first human that I've met. Uh, I'll back out after I clear this map. I already finished my setup. That way, you know, video is not too long. But uh, basically, what the Lilith Games decided to do was that uh, in the outset, when the new season starts, 
since no one has actually started yet, so it's hard to determine the rankings, right? So the way that they combated this was they literally had millions upon millions, or maybe not millions, but thousands of NPCs taking the slots of, I think, every single... I think there's as many NPCs as there are humans in the server, and then when you defeat an NPC, you actually swap places with them. And I think once... Uh, every NPC has been replaced by a human, then eventually, you know, we get to face each other and stuff. So anyways, without further ado, uh, let's get into the fight. And I should also mention that there are new spells that have been released. Like this spell here increases your magic damage dealt, which can be very useful for Odie because he's a magic damage dealer. And then we also have, of course, you know, this hasn't changed at all. And this, I'm what I'm actually thinking of doing is swapping this with the Star Shard spell because I do believe the Zoo Comp is all about attrition. And so this is, even with the true damage nerf, I do think that the Star Shard skill is the best. Yeah, thanks for the in-depth explanation, Turtle. Appreciate it. Yeah, JetFun, you're welcome. You're welcome. Seasonal Essence is different. Yeah. Question, does the Essence carry into the new season or should I spin it all before the new season starts in four days oh yeah that's an excellent question shifter so uh basically when the new season starts your level resets to level one when you go into the new area and all your equipment will not count you'll start picking up level one season equipment and then from there it's kind of like starting over you're in a brand new map literally when uh, you know, the new season starts, it'll have a prompt for the main story, right? You just follow the main story and eventually they'll teleport you over to the new map where everything changes. So without further ado, I'm really crossing my fingers that I win because the NPCs are way too powerful. So um, let's go ahead and begin and praise. We will praise. Okay, if I lose, then I guess that nullifies all my advice. But this guy has Paragon 2s and 3s, and I only have Paragon 1s. So this guy does have a significant advantage. But everyone's surviving. Coco's dying. Okay. Well, I did throw my weakest team in the first. Holy. Okay, and, and my opponent is... Holy. Okay. <laughs> that Dionel. All right, well, if I lose, it's because the guy wailed way more than I did. But maybe strategy will trump. We'll see, we'll see. This is the true test, Aeron versus Aeron. And he has a Vala variant, but I think I have the advantage. Ooh, moment of truth. Yes! All right, we got one victory. Will our zoo comp, will our zoo comp prevail? Will our zoo comp prevail? Not looking good. Holy. Oh, that's really not good. We lost. All right. Well, I'll show you the aftermath. Burial got nuked. Okay. So, uh, yeah, my opponent was running Paragon 1s and 2s. And I was running Supreme Pluses. Yeah, my entire lineup Supreme Pluses. I'm actually very, very proud of the second fight, though, because he's running Paragon 2s. And I was running Paragon, well actually, so I had two Paragon 1s here, or three Paragon 1s, and he had Paragon 2, Paragon 1, Paragon 1, Paragon 1, Paragon 1. And actually, I sh I'm, oh, he had Paragon 2s. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, okay. So, you know, this is actually kind of interesting. So his full Mahler comp, uh, instead of running on Tundra, he ran Shakir. 
uh, and instead of running Coco, he ran Alsa. So this is more offensive, and Alsa does a bit of crowd control. So uh, maybe we can try this team comp in the future. That's why we're recording this, you know, because you never know. Uh, your opponents may be running team comps that you can try to either beat or emulate in the future. Problem is you didn't have crowd control for their Smokey either. Look how much he healed. Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. All right, so that was one fight. That sucks. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can find another human. Oh, and so this is kind of how it will be when your season starts. So essentially, you'll, you get to choose one of three different humans. Uh, your strength is on the top left, so my strength is 36 mil, 36.6 mil. And as you can see, the challenges challengers are 36 mil, 43 mil, and 51 mil power. As you can see, if I was to face a challenger with 51 mil and win, I would go up 417 ranks, which would be amazing. Except the only problem is that my characters are level 120, and uh, his characters are level 181. So uh, I most likely will get demolished. I think I got demolished before. So I think what would make more sense is to go against a challenger who is similar strength to me. Um, take baby steps and see if there's maybe I could defeat some of these teams. Okay. I think I don't see a Thorin, I don't see a Damien. I think this could be a very good uh, opponent to go against. Okay, and so you kind of have to come up with a game plan like, okay, which, te which two uh, stages do you want to bring your best teams on? So in my case, I'm thinking the toughest, the easiest team to beat is probably, I hope, this one. Uh, and probably this one. So I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. So what you can do is you can click the flag, and you can actually swap the places of your characters. This will save a lot of time. Uh, and then you just kind of need to add back the characters if you know they didn't have any place on the map to position on. So uh, I think here. Let's see. So going to do like that okay, that seems pretty good and then here okay so I recommend that if the enemy is much stronger than you do not put your tanks in the front give your party a little more time to stabilize so we'll do something like this So that is interesting. Maybe instead of Coco, I should run Ulsa, but I think Coco might still be better. Um, go like that. Okay, and then finally we have this team here. I think this team is fine the way it is. Okay, that seems pretty good. Okay, we'll go ahead and give this a try. And praise that we win. So this guy, I think was six mil more strength than me. So the battle is a little more, more manageable. The nice thing is that these NPCs, they only have three mythic plus units. Oh, dang, I won, okay. Would you say there's any purchase packs that are worth for Dragon Crystals? I find the Dragon Crystal prices absolutely ludicrous, so I avoided them so far. Um, that's a good question, chat. What do you recommend? Because for me, I typically prioritize the Stargaze packs. Those are very... And then also the Twilight Essence packs. 
Um, and then if you're summoning for an event character like Alsa, picking up the pack when you get your event character to Mythic or to Legendary, I'm sorry, uh, I think that pack is very worth as well. Oh, okay. We won the first two matches. So uh, typically how it works is that if you win best two out of three or best three out of three, then you swap places with the NP excuse me with the NPC that you replaced with. So it's quite nice. And some pop-ups. Yeah, I typically recommend the pop-ups. Yo, I went 3-0. Interesting. So I guess the NPCs are easier than the humans. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, it's working, it's working. Nice. Yo, okay, so you saw what happened, right? I swapped places with the NPC, because eventually the NPCs will all be replaced by the humans, assuming there's enough humans that are, you know, that can compete. So this is good, very good. So as you saw, I did rank up. Now, in terms of prizes, it is in your best interest to be in the top 1500. That way you can start getting Twilight Essences every day. Uh, this is very important because Twilight Essences is what gets your EX weapon from level uh, 15 to 25. And it's a very rare resource. Thank you so much, Amy. And thank you, Score, for keeping me hydrated. NPCs are missing spells and in the future they'll be missing charms. Ah, uh, gotcha, Timba. Yeah, those would be great ones I like. Okay, okay, so we're actually doing quite well. So let's keep going here. So once again, I think that it is best to just turtle our way up to the top. I don't think we can beat that person yet. Or maybe we can. I'll just keep climbing and then eventually everyone will be, too, will be much stronger than me. And then we'll kind of just see how it goes. But I think overall, this one seems all right. I can see trouble with the last team, but I don't know. Maybe I'll be all right. What's the max exclusive weapon level, guys? 25, yes. And you need 25 Twilight Essences to get one level from 15 to 16 or 16 to 17, etc., etc. More worth to spread a bunch of plus 10s. Yeah, true. Yeah, Twilight Essence is not needed right now unless you're a whale. So hard to get from 11 to 15, it's not worth at the moment. That's true. It's true. Okay. So same idea, right? Usually of your three teams, there's going to be the weak link, quote unquote. Uh, so you want to, uh, you know, basically bring your two strongest teams against the, the two weakest teams of the opponent. So I think this is good. I think we can secure a victory here. Um... Okay, I'm kind of curious how this fight will work out. I mean, this is the best map for the zoo comp because this tile that my floor bell is on allows her to cast her ultimate right away, which will allow me to get another summon right away. Alternatively, what I could try doing is instead of Casti, who's blessing the wrong unit, by the way, run Ceci instead. Pendajin, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you. So we can get Mr. Carlisle out right away, which will be very good. Okay, so I think that's good. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, okay, so now we've stabilized. I'm essentially running a trial of this team on the first one, so we're doing pretty well. Nice. Victory. My weakest link is probably my full on Mauler team, but I mean, this is what you use to push the trial of the Abyss as well, so theoretically, it should have all the tools you need to at least survive. 
And then OD, I do have OD EX20, so that should help. Ooh, I got stunned, that's really not good. We need Coco to ult right now. Okay, perfect timing. Entendre did die, that's a problem. Okay, yeah, I, I couldn't beat that. Their Haywin, Haywin got a lot stronger. Which makes me wonder if I should actually have Haywin in my... Uh, hmm. I don't know. And I don't get stunned, yeah. Okay, I'm hoping my zoo comp will be okay. I'm still experimenting with the zoo comp, so I'm still trying to get comfortable with this team. I did get my burial to Supreme Plus yesterday. But it's looking like we're doing pretty well, for the most part. Oh yeah, we're doing really well. Nice. Oh, that was beautiful. Coco looks good with... Coco is good with the zoo comp. Okay, well... Alright, so we swap places with the challenger again. 2-1, not bad. Seems like you're doing well. Yes, yes. And here's the thing. I mean, so... M Mobis uh, made a good point like okay certain characters will be better on certain teams but mind you we need to create three teams which means you can't always cr run the optimal lineup for every single team because you won't have enough characters right like if i had it my way i would have thorin on two teams instead of one but because i can't have two thorns so i have to run granny on one team but i do know that granny works well with throwing and that's how i compensate Okay, so just so you can kind of see my damage calcs here. And I'm actually starting to think that instead instead of Brutus, I should probably run um, Ulsa. Okay. So we'll keep going here. Okay, so now we're facing tougher challengers, as you can see. 53 mil power versus my 36 mil power. What's the difference? The difference is now the challenger has four mythic pluses instead of three, which is really Monka. And I'm starting to realize that teams that are running Haywin, I'm, I'm really struggling with. I do think the last team I can beat, the first team will be really tough. But maybe I can beat that too. Plus 10 OD does a lot for me already. Nice. Another victory. Yeah. I might be able to beat this guy. But. Hmm. It's really tough to say. We can try a refresh. Oh, okay. That was good. 47 mil. I can handle that. Although, as you can see here, uh, the strength really does scale with the ranking. So on the previous one, I don't remember how much I would have ranked, but here I would only go up 35 ranks. The content creators need to make videos about how much all the rewards are nerfed in the new season. Uh, are the rewards nerfed? I think they're just adding more rewards, right? Or uh, like, which? what are you referring to, Zen? Okay, anyway, so uh, for this team, we still have Haywin. Oh, the first team doesn't have any healers, nor does the last team. So I think we might have an edge here. Even the Noble Path and Growth Path paid tracks are less. Oh, actually, Zin, I do agree with that because the first Noble Path did have a an S rank selector, whereas this Noble Path has none. Uh, one of my viewers pointed that, that out yesterday okay i think we can beat that Ooh, okay we might have a chance against this and we okay i i'm liking this let's try it 
Would you say you like the grind because of fulfillment or for the leaderboards? Uh, I wouldn't say I like the grind per se. I like that I get to interact with the player base. Uh, because the other gacha games that I played, the most you could do with your friends was essentially, what, like, send a unit over to help them out. But once they get strong enough, the unit doesn't even matter that much. Uh, so it's really just like, you feel like you're playing with your friends even though you're really not. And then... With this game, uh, AFK Journey, it's so different because you're in a guild with 29 other people. You know, you are interacting with other guilds uh, within your server. And then with this new season, you're actually competing across servers. So uh, we call them districts with the, the season of strife. So we have, uh, you know, I'm on district eight, which consists of my server, server 25. Uh, and then 26, 27, 28. So four servers in the district. So it, oh God, I got demolished here. Interesting. Okay, anyways, seems like I still won. All right, we're climbing. Now, what I don't like about the way Supreme Arena works is that with the er, with the normal arena pvp every time you win you get some sort of resources right like you get exp books i'm surprised that you don't get season exp books from this and i need to get into 1500 i might just have to ooh Another human. Oh, this was the person who deranked me. Yeah, she took my spot. So I think it's time for revenge. I don't know. We'll see. Um, he's running Paragon 2s and 3s. I don't think I can beat that, honestly. Yeah, remember, guys, how during the live stream yesterday I ranked above 1,500? Or if I was literally this rank, and then they took my spot. Hey, Turtle. Hey, Rasta. Good to see you. Uh, you're on YouTube, by the way. We're filming a Supreme Arena video. Um, okay, actually, I'm going to copy that formation. Or sa save it for research, not copy. Um, he's essentially running the teams that I normally run. I think the only difference is his final lineup, which is a very good lineup, I gotta say. Me, I'm on TV, yeah. Uh, hmm. I think I'll leave that guy alone, because I'm at such a huge disadvantage. Okay, 40 mil. Okay, let's, let's, let's turtle our way up here. Uh... Okay, this one I can handle, I think, I hope. Okay, so in this case, I'm thinking... Okay, I feel like my Aaron team could beat that. And then, ooh. Second team might be the toughest. And then the zoo team. Can my zoo team handle that? I think it can. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Mo, I'm on YouTube. Yeah. Wait, is this best of three? Yeah, it's best of three. Someone asked me if you rank higher if you win... 3-0 instead of 2-1 and the answer is no the answer is that when you beat them you swap your rank with them so you're you're only going to take their rank if they're higher than you oh there's another thing i should mention too which is that if your opponent defeats you or no if you win a defense against a person who is lower ranked than you nothing happens uh, they don't rank up and you don't rank rank down 
So that's the difference. Ooh, this is not good. Hmm, I thought I could beat this person, but I guess not. That's unfortunate. Oh, go Thorin. Oh, I, uh, shoot. Oh, dear Lord. Damien, can you come out faster? Oh, no. Ah, I had hope. Ah, that was close. Yeah, I wonder how long it will take us to not lose against bots in Supreme Arena. It'll happen soon. I mean, th the problem right now is that they're so much higher ranked than us. Or th their strength is so much higher than us. So getting up there is really monka right now. <laughs> yeah, ghoul, exactly. We get charms after AFK 305, so that will be a bum. Mm, true, true. Good point, Timba. You'll get the next one. Thank you so much. Righty, thank you so much for the fall. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, so... Oh, I think my zoo comp can handle the first team. And then... My Aeron team can probably handle the second one. Okay. And then my Mauler team can go against the third one. All right, so Mauler is going against the third one here. So you click the flag to swap the places. Aaron's going to go against the second one, right? Hmm, this is tricky. Oh, you can get Coco's ult up right away. That's good. I think that should be good. Go like that. Okay, I think this is good. I hope. We'll see. So as you can see, I'm just making adjustments here and there. Hope to dear God my zoo comp can handle this. Oh, nice. Yo, Thorn, putting in work. Awesome, okay. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, yeah, we won the second one. Okay, so we, we got the victory there. That's good, that's good. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Okay, we can beat this. That's the cherry on top. 
Yeah, okay, now I understand. The full Mauler team, you actually should run on the third map because Coco gets her ult up right away. Oh yeah, this is way better. Oh, we lost Odie though, that's a huge problem. Oh, Smokey, oh wow, Smokey did a lot there. Congrats, yay, we 3 0'd that, nice. Okay, climbing. Thank you, Amy. Shakira on the second instant cast location is kind of nice too. Ah, Edelweiss, that's a good point. 53 mil. Hmm. Okay, I think I could handle this one too. Zoo comp, can that handle it? Hmm. They're insane to believe I'm getting 305 in six days. I'd be lucky to get there in two weeks. Yeah. I, I'm feeling that same thing too. Coco Mythic Plus armor buff is huge for me in the dream realm. Yes, yes. Curious though, isn't it better to push breakpoints like top 1500, top 1000 since small rank gains before breakpoint doesn't reward you anything beyond one-time diamonds? You know, that's actually a very good point, right? Go big or go home. That actually is based. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to, that's actually a good point. I was kind of thinking like, yeah, why am I attacking again? Yeah, all right. We go big or go home, but, right, guys? So it's not going to look pretty, okay? This could look pretty awful, actually. But I think we, on, I think we have a chance, maybe. So, uh, by the way, this guy is 62 mil power. I'm 36 mil power. I'm small fry compared to this guy. Yeah, there's no point in inching forward. Yeah, true. All right, good point, good point. Might as well save our diamonds, right? Uh, kind of doesn't matter. I'm probably... Uh, let me see. Okay, if we're taking this seriously... Oh, shoot. It's a floor bell plus Cessia. Okay, so the good thing is you can actually refresh. Ooh, 1495, okay. Oh yeah, this looks a lot more manageable. Yeah, we got this, folks, we got this, I hope. All right, so, can the burial team dismantle this? I don't know. Aaron should be able to handle this. Oh, there's rice, though. Interesting how he's blessing Rowan, that's kind of not the play. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm feeling good about this, what I'm seeing right now. I don't think the zoo comp could handle this. So. All right, let's try it. In From my experience, the zoo comp tends to do a little bit better against enemies who do double healers. But we'll see. Rice is a freaking menace. Yeah, my Aeron team might lose. Actually, if that's the case, maybe I should bring the Aeron team somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah. So basically what I'm thinking is... Um, 
I get the old off right away. Does that benefit us? Okay. Rice is actually good. He's good when there are 80 levels above you. Um, hmm, what do I do? Yeah, over yeah, over leveled robot rice one shots your team with his ult. Yeah, but your rice will never do that. Mm -hmm. If the Aeron team is only one to die, you have to be happy. Yeah. But my Aeron team's way stronger. Oh, what am I doing? This is the play. And what's her ult? Hmm. Okay, I think this is good. Oh, wait, we need to build this team. I would be very surprised if I beat this. Dude, what would be really Monka is if I got here and then someone sniped my position, right? I would be so pissed. Okay, I think this will work. Maybe. Okay, that seems good. Turtle, you're way under level, don't try. Yeah, but we got to, but someone made a good point. We have to reach the break point, right? Here we go. Experience the power of facing someone double your power. What could go wrong? Yo! Oh, never mind. Unlike normal arena, you don't lose anything beyond basic daily tries. Okay. Uh, that was my second best team, guys. <laughs> Yo, what? Oh god. Okay. You never win if you don't try. Yeah. Dude, OD lasted. Okay. Well, if my number one team can't beat this, then nothing will. There we go. Make sure you check the faction bonus. Yeah. Scarlita bonk. Tamisi hit like a truck. Well, that was unfortunate. All right. But we will try again. 1485. So there are 59 mil strength. No, you just need two more Scarletas for the other two teams. Yeah, agreed, Reggie. Tamisia hit like a truck, yeah. Hmm. 
I get the feeling the third one is the toughest. What's that? It's a corn and a brood Kruger. Oh God, they have a thorn. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we'll probably lose against Thorn. Cause can can you imagine an overpowered Thorn hitting all your units? That would be scary. Diano helps as well. Timisa can isekai you to another realm. Nine hours until release, new season on my server, finally. Nice, Sufalano. That's awesome. Putting a bunch of maulers in front of Timisa like bowling pins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Monka. All right, all right. So um, let's see. Thorin casually one-shots your whole team. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm trying to win against two okay so i think i need to do that and then hmm You know, I kind of want to try something. Kind of want to try that. Yeah. Okay, here goes nothing. Overload level Brian scary, yeah. Oh, that's really not good. Oh god. No, hey when oh shoot. Where did our thorn go? Oh my god. Yeah, opponent's Haywin way too OP. I I could have won if there was no Haywin. Thorn sleeping, yeah. Oh god, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> okay, well that team won. Yo, my Coco didn't even... What is this? Oh, dear lord. Oh, Odie! Shoot. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh man, okay. Do I go another? Guys, I don't know if I can beat any of these. Yeah, maybe could have won if teams one and two were swapped. Yo, as hope turns into despair. Yo, 1379, let's go. Oh wow, these are powerful. Hmm. Nah, I probably can't beat that. Hey, Twister, good to see you. 
It might, be more, it might be more beneficial to wait until it's closer to reset to raise your levels. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's a very good point. That is based. Okay, so that wraps it up for this video. I'm sorry that I lost more times than I won. You probably forgot how I even won to begin with. Um, you know, if you want to catch me on one of my live streams, we'd love to have you. I do live stream almost every day on twitch.tv forward slash turtle lags. And uh, yes, I will see you in the next video. Take care.